Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Don Spector here. Today with a very special video. I'm taking apart the Puna Anvil. Yes, we are sawing this thing apart and trying to see how its internals look like, what you actually get when you buy this. And yeah, um, hope you enjoy this. Um, I think this will be a rather unique video for my channel. But yeah, let's see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my microphone correct. Let's check out how the inside of the polar anvil looks. Okay, I think this here in the front is the single dynamic that produces bass. This here looks like it's a bone conduction driver, judging from how weird it looks. And actually the cabling seems like it's done relatively well. We have some glue visible here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think there's the BA at the fr or BAs at the front. Um, yeah, let's continue digging in further here. Okay, and of course we have the faceplate here, which is now uh, definitely more scratched than before. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's see how 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 do I how how do I get things out the best here? I have to confess I have never done this before. This is the first time me taking apart an IEM. So um, let's see. B -b 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 can I just ply out the DD here? That means also the shell is less robust than the drivers actually glued in here. Very interesting fact. <laughs> and if somebody asks uh, why I take this apart, or probably I put it in the video here, well, um, due to the scratches, I taught. Uh, uh, um, I explained to HiFiGo that okay, um, like yeah, the scratches are here, and they were like, okay, you can either uh, just basically uh, we can give you some money after I suggested it, or we can you can send the uh, destroy the puller anvil and we send a new one. And obviously, I think this is the sound tube. I think it's actually a difficult to see here in the inside with the camera, but I think I might need my pocket knife. That's why. I <laughs> I think the blade might be a bit big. Uh, let's see. So the sound tube here is just a piece of rubber tubing, I think. can see here the rubber tube on the inside that keeps this thing together. Then this is tight in here. I didn't expect it to be this difficult. I thought I could just, you know, whiz in and yeah, just basically don't do much and take it apart, but okay. Now 
Uh, we can check out this is the DD we use here. Uh, looks like a random SDD in the inside. I uh, forgot what material it is, but it looks like I can see some felt or some paper on the inside. Um, yeah. And then here, further on the inside, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Here are a dual BA. And it looks like almost in the nozzle, there's an other BA in there. Also, it's a dual BA as well. Um, let me quickly check the anvil again. I forgot what it was, uh, what, what configuration I mean. Yep. I uh, just checked it. So this is one DD, one BC and four BA. So yeah, this is the dual BA. I assume responsible here for the mids, the bigger one. And the one in the front is the dual BA responsible for travel. And yeah, it sits basically in the nozzle down there. And as we can also see by the looks of it, um, yeah, there would be more, uh, there, there's a lot of empty space in here. So either they could cramp in a few more BAs or they could just um, angle the BAs on this side a bit and make the shell a bit smaller. And then we have the bone conduction driver here on this side, which is directly integrated in the shell side firing. Uh, okay, that is interesting. I expect it to be more downward facing, but no, they put it in here side firing. And this thing is really well glued in here. Um, let me see if I can fly it out or not. I can! Ha! Huh, nice. Okay, so this is the... Come sharpen. On the front plate, here you can see this is uh, basically the metal plate that is responsible for, I think, for absorbing or for transmitting the sound to the actual IEM chassis. And yeah, it's sideward facing. Um, but it seems to manage to vibrate at least this part of the shell well enough so that you can hear something. And then here on the inside, we can actually see the uh, driver in here. Very interesting. This is like spring loaded. So I guess it really moves some mass through the spring here. I mean, it makes sense. We can hear it also um, basically springing when we just tap it. Yeah, and you can still feel it. I don't think you can hear it, right? But I can feel it as definitely spring loaded here. Very interesting. And you can actually see that it's, if I press it, like it has a really good amount of motion here uh, that is possible. And when we take a look at the BAs inside, maybe you can also plan BI out. Let me, let me see if I can plan BI out. That is also possible. It's again, direct your rubber tube. And it's probably heat shrinking, heat shrunken, heat shrink, heat shrunken. I don't know what's the past tense of heat shrink. Okay, so it's very difficult to get out here. Let me see. Oops, that was a piece of shell. Huh. And here we have an additional and small piece of silicon. I guess it looks like it has resistances in there. You can see even the order number here on uh, the, the part number on it. So I would probably be able to find out that this actually is. Looks like it's just resistance, but I, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let's see if I so still attempt for like a bit more. And if I can't get it out, then I just leave the video here. And then we call it a day in figuring out what is inside the polar anvil. Uh, okay, uh, let me call it a day here. Uh, this is the <laughs> taking a part of the polar anvil. And yeah, uh, the other part I will just hammer flat and then uh, send HiFi Go the confirmation of that. Uh, very interesting stuff in here, I have to admit. Um, oh, can, can, can I still take the DD apart? Is that possible? Can we still look in the DD? Let's see. I actually got myself a pair of small pliers for this exact job. Don't think I can. Oh. This is glued pretty intensely on there. Okay, so we have to live with uh, just looking inside here from the front tube and seeing some uh, paper on the inside, basically. Okay, yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, recommendations, or criticisms, please leave a comment. Inspector, out.